Hey, and welcome to Tomorrow. I'm your host, Joshua Topolsky, here with Ryan Houlihan, as always. Hi, Josh. May the force be with you. And please don't. Let's not do that right now. <laughs> uh, and we're here on a balmy uh, Monday afternoon. What is Is it Monday? Mm-hmm. It is. Um, to talk about Star Wars, the, the Last Jedi, the new film in the highly successful Star Wars franchise, directed by Ryan Johnson. Ryan Houlihan. Directed by Ryan Houlihan. <laughs> directed by Ryan Johnson, the uh, uh, the auteur known for uh, such great films as Looper, uh, Brick, and also the best episode of Breaking Bad ever called Fly, I believe is what it's called, um, and uh, which is a bottle episode where they're actually kind of almost literally trapped in a bottle, which is interesting. But anyhow, spoiler alert. Um, so we're here to talk about Star Wars, The Last Jedi, which I have very strong feelings about and most of those feelings are me too most of those feelings are very negative opposite <laughs> <laughs> and, and <clears throat> excuse me sorry i'm coming off a very bad cold because it's that season it's the season for colds in new york and uh anyhow but uh, the cold has not weakened my my anger my my uh great and furious anger about the star wars the new film the star wars uh, series. Series. Okay, so let's just talk about it. I want to say a couple of things off the top to get started. And by the way, you you guys will be able to dial in and talk to me yeah, and Ryan I, live about this. The number is 202-688-1697. Yes, you can call in and, and you can voice your opinion about the movie. But let me just be, I want to be very clear about a couple of things before we get started. Okay? Sure, sure, sure. First thing is I want to say I think Ryan Johnson is a very talented director. Mm-hmm. I think everybody in this film is a, is a Listen, terrific to and talented. Pull off uh, this size of a movie, All you right. have to be very talented. Okay, let's not start, start giving him kudos, kudos just, just because he made a big movie. movie. It's a hard okay? job. Yeah, well, lots of people make big movies, okay? okay. Uh, <laughs> great cast, great great, great characters. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I, I love The Force Awakens. Awakens. I'm, I'm not, not a big Star Wars, Wars fan. I want to be clear. I've, I've seen, all, of course, all the Star Wars films. I know a lot about the Star Wars mythology because I'm a nerd. Mm-hmm. And you just kind of have to know or else you get kicked out of the nerd so international society of nerds. I feel like no matter who you are, even my mother knows a lot about Star Wars. Yeah, but she doesn't know about Yaddle. No, sure. I'm just saying okay, so we all love Talk to me it. when we your mom knows who we Yaddle get it. is. Okay? We get it. We all love it. Um, but, I, you know, so I know enough to be dangerous. And, but, like, let me just say... Uh, I was surprised by how much I liked The Force Awakens. I went in with, with, uh, I guess you know, I don't know if I had no expectations. They might, I think they were negative expectations. Okay, right, and I was like, wow, this is like a kind of amazing Star Wars movie, and it was an amazing movie. Like it was a great movie. Uh huh. And um, and so and so I didn't go in. I, I went into this having only read one review. Which was the New York Into Times, the, this movie. the new movie, okay. The Last Jedi. Did you read reviews for the other one before you? Uh, yeah, I read Force Awakens reviews. Okay. I mean, I read way more probably of that, but um, this one, I read the New York Times review, and I had seen little bits and pieces all over Twitter of people going like, "Oh my god, it's so good!" and "Oh, the Washington Post says the best, whatever." Um, actually, the Washington Post didn't say that, but but I went in thinking like, "Okay, well, The Force Awakens was great. Ryan Johnson's an amazing director." This cast, I love these characters. I love the cast. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm ready for a great you film. You wanted to like it. I wanted to like it. I just want to say that. And I didn't have super high expectations. Like, it's going to be the best movie ever. But Nobody I felt, goes in saying they want to hate it. No, but I felt, yeah. like, I felt like if it could be as good as The Force Awakens. Uh-huh. The greatest hits of Star Wars. Well, yeah, but also, but just a <laughs> they well. They took everything that had ever well worked put, and made one movie. Nah, it's a well put together film with a lot of interesting new characters. Except for that weird um, uh, monster. Anyhow, but, uh. And the ship. I hated that part. But. Wait, what? The monster in the ship in the first movie was so J.J. Abrams, the like... Which one? That the, you, you know that like octopus looking thing that we don't really oh. get a clear picture oh, yeah, yeah, of? Yeah, I yeah, hate yeah. that yeah. whole part. It's oh, well, stupid. I'm sorry, but I'll take that over the indigenous housekeepers of... of opposite. Of, of, opposite. Of, of love of Skywalker. Fish of Sky, love of Fish None. Skywalker Island. No, love of Fish None. I know, there's something really weird about it. I want to show just about okay, those nuns. So, so let's just get into it. So what I want to say is, like, I didn't go into this, like, I'm not, I'm first off, I don't, I'm not, like, a Jedi, like, mm-hmm. oh, I subscribe to the logic of all Jedi shit, you know, I'm like, I don't care, like, you can bend the rules, you can break the rules. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of people, because I complain about it on Twitter, and they're like, sorry, it ruined your childhood, and it's like, no, it, I don't have a childhood connection to this, it's like, I just, here's, here's what I'm mad about. Mm-hmm. It's not a good film, okay, F- from a film perspective, from the perspective of, like, 
Is the story, does the story make sense? Do I believe in the things that happen in the plot? Do I believe what the characters are doing? Do I feel satisfied with like the way that they've structured these, like uh, pretty much on all of the levels of like whether it's or not the plot of the film was carried out in a well, way that felt like a good movie. Mm-hmm. I think it, I think it, I think I think it think, broke apart. I think what you're picking up on and what I also saw, but it didn't bother me, hmm. was that we were watching two movies that were pushed together. We saw two I mean, completely could have separate cut, stories. You definitely could have cut through. Oh, I should just say, there's going to be massive spoilers on this. Oh, yeah, sorry. Massive if you, spoilers. If you're watching this, you're an idiot. If you, you haven't, if seen, you haven't seen The Last Jedi and you're watching this, like... Just don't watch it. Just go know. back I mean, to I don't want to limit our audience, but I just think, like, you should not. No, you should have done that. But, anyway, um... There were two separate movies. It's 40 minutes too long. Yes, and had they been separate movies, they would have been the appropriate no, length. No, there's a there's a, a there's an amazing narrative about two characters. hmm which is Kylo which, Ren and Rey. Yeah. Amazing narrative there. Oh, really? You, think you didn't a, like Rose? Uh, please. I mean, they turned Finn into fucking comic relief. They gave him a sidekick that's like b- a barely thought out character. Disagree. Oh, my God. I mean, this is such a... It was such a... I loved her. A, such an abuse of the character of Finn. What an amazing character they had Listen. from the first movie. A, 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 you've never seen this before. A stormtrooper who's turned... To the, the he's at with the rebels now. What a rich place to br- to build a story. And instead, they're like, "Hey, go off and be a bumbling idiot on Casino Land." Well, I don't think in Casino just Casino, vi- casino one, Village. Just because you you change your morality and you make one change, um, in like to your worldview and your philosophy, I don't think that means that you're ready to be a superhero. Like uh, Luke Skywalker okay, had to not. learn. No I think arguing. Finn had to no, learn. No one says he has to be a superhero. He just has to not be given a storyline, which is a pile of garbage. Okay. I don't think it's a pile of garbage. Okay, he, let's talk about. Let's get through let's actually go ahead what were you gonna say i think we the character of rose was essentially like what if you weren't a skywalker or pulled into this or you weren't changing sides like what if you were just one of the people whose entire lives like hashtag yeah, yeah, yeah. this is I, not I, normal sorry. but of star it. wars i get the little people and it was cool I mean, to they... see one of those people have to come down to earth and learn about them rather than be like oh we blew up another ship of innocence like those innocents have lives you mean and like one of those mean, people had to learn but they it. never but they never well he doesn't there's very little connection made his he's like oh wait these horses seem cool and then like wait they're whipping the kids too that's not cool like his he doesn't have a revelation about the entirety of his universe he has a revelation about like the people in casino world but he but the revelation about the entirety of his universe was in the first movie and now it's becoming real for him i don't think so i think the revelation was like i don't want to be a stormtrooper okay. and then he's like the stormtroopers <laughs> stormtroopers stand for all the things that are wrong but like Okay. All right, we have calls. I'm sure we do, but wait, I want to talk about, okay. before right, we get to right, the call, right. we're going to get okay. to your calls, but I want to talk about a few of the things. We'll be there. Let me just say this. Also, I really want to be clear. There are moments in this film that are fucking amazing. Fantastic. Like, I would say there are, pro- there probably is my second favorite or third, no, I would say third favorite moment of any Star Wars movie ever in this movie. What, what, what moment? The, 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 I mean, I even hate to say it outside cause it, out loud because if you haven't seen it, it's Please so fucking good. Please don't Please don't listen to this next thing if you have not seen this movie. I beg of you. But the scene where the scene where where Ray goes to meet Kylo Ren and they fight. In oh, the, amazing! The, the Snoke scene. Amazing. The most amazing. I, mean, I call that the crazy idiot. No, no, no. Scene, I mean, I, the two of them. well, the fight, but but the but the Snoke. The, yeah, the oh, killing amazing. of Snow. The whole thing was amazing. I mean, I have to How tell you. How could you not look at that and be like, okay, the whole so, movie worth so it? So first off, you know, like, I've, you know. Because there's stuff in Empire Strikes Back that sucks. Return you know, of the Jedi blows. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, no, that's not true. There's a lot of great stuff. <laughs> Ewoks in suck. Jedi. Porgs for life. You know what? I'm sorry. Ewoks and Porgs are very similar. Actually, Ewoks have more porgs, character. Porgs are so a much A lot better. more going on with. I mean, I, how do you, I'm sorry, the Porgs are sentient enough to see, to be, to cry because one of their guys has been burned up and is being eaten by Chewbacca. But one of my cats died. But the other one cool was to, sad about it. But, but they're doesn't cool. Mean she to, knows but they're cool. To, they're the cool. World. But they'll hang out with Chewbacca anyhow. Sure. I don't think so. Anyhow, the, the poor just another terrible characterization in the film. <laughs> but um, but 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 there's some amazing scenes. Like yeah. the scene where Laura Dern's character rams the incredible sh- cuts through the ship at light speed. The, the fucking scene amazing. Where Laura Dern. That's all you have to no, say. No, I have a I lot of problems. Her. I got a lot of problems with Laura Durant's character. How dare oh my god, you. I have so many. Okay, but 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 the Game all, people quickly call in. All of the scenes, <laughs> all of the scenes, uh, with Ray and Kylo Ren communicating and talking. Oh, unbelievable! Unbelievable! I mean, funny, heartfelt. It's essentially like, what deep. J.K. Rowling thought she was doing in Harry Potter, but like done with actual character dynamics and never like, uh, didn't read it, so I wouldn't. All right, well, um, but uh, the callers know, but um. But I just think that like this this film could have been it had so many great materials to be the right to move the story in the right direction. And I feel like where they moved it was this like I mean, 
It well, didn't move. It barely moved the story. And now all we can do for the final film is watch uh, Kylo Ren be evil and Ray be good and have them fight. Because, I don't like, think that's they've, what's going to happen. They've cut out. They've cut out all of the tension of 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 what's going on in the universe now. And it's like there's a tiny bit of Rebel Alliance left, and there's Kyle out of control, fully evil MRA Pua. I mean, but rejected, you don't think it's so rejected. interesting to have the two leaders of the entire empire be like thirty-year-old assistant managers mad with power? I'm sorry, never I'm run sorry. anything. What like, that's Kylo, really interesting. Why would Kylo Ren? Why does he even want to fuck with the First Order? He doesn't seem like a fascist to me. He doesn't seem like he wants to control the galaxy. But I think he seems like he's mad at his parents and he wants to uh, be like a badass. You can say the same thing about the alt right. Right, like you could I say the same thing of like I don't no. think you have an overarching. No, they want to. They want to run. They want to run the universe. But I don't think wanna... so. I think a lot of it's disaffected people who don't know what to do, and it seems yeah, like okay. an easy answer. And I think that there's a lot of like and... alt right Pua MRA shit going on with his character. Like he definitely is like a men's rights activist. Like yeah, and when he's like rejected by everybody at the end, and he's like all alone, and, and then like he mad. says to Ray like, "We could rule the universe." Like, wouldn't that be so great? And he doesn't understand that that's exactly what she's arguing against. Like that the point of the rebellion is that yeah. like yeah. you. <laughs> Look, I thought that I stuff. I thought that stuff was great, and I actually think that his motivation, all of like the hurt that you see of that character, is wonderful, and it's a totally different kind of villain in the Star Wars universe. I just felt like the film itself. Like, let's just talk about some of the kind of fundamentals of the movie. Let me say one part that I love. Okay, Let me just say sure, one thing about Fine. Kylo that I love. Okay. Two, well, two things. One, the, the shirt, D cup the, the shirtless uh, thing is so good. <laughs> yeah. Two. I like that they pointed out that his helmet wasn't anyone's ideas but his. So yeah, in the universe, it's very it's very Reddit. I mean, it's v- in the universe of it, it would be as if it's none of the other Knights of Ran or anyone else is wearing helmets. It'd be like yeah. I came into here with a helmet, no explanation. <laughs> right. but, well, he's kind of kind of like, like why are he's kind of like this? he's kind of like a, he's like a he's like a hot topic kid. No, he's kind of, but he's also kind of like a goth. Yeah, yeah, he's a goth. Kind of the same thing. Topic kid. He's an emo. <laughs> he's like the universe's greatest goth. Like, yeah. <laughs> he's like wears like a bla- weird black trench coat for reasons. My dad was an asshole. <laughs> yeah, <it's> like, <laughs> but like but like so so here's the thing. Uh you know, the so but here's what so there are some amazing characters and plot points in this film, mm-hmm. but there's a lot of stuff that I, I like really I feel like insults the audience, right? One is so many of the things that happen, the core plot of the film is driven by a deus ex machina. Essentially, it's like, it's like, oh, they don't have enough fuel to do this, but they've got enough that they could stay a certain distance. And every one of our ships, there is no ship that can get close enough to fire it. on them. Yeah. So now we're just in this. I mean, it's complete bullshit. And then it's like, and then it's like. But and, and also the tracking <laughs> tracking device. Tra- also, they Wait, were like, "We have to go. We're running out of time. We've only got eighteen hours." Yeah, <laughs> so like, wild like, to figure no, out. A plan. No, they're also like, they're also like, <laughs> so um, have a snack, talk it out. No, I'm sorry. The tra- they're like they're tracking us through lightspeed. They're tra- four times. People are like, "How can they track us through lightspeed?" And it's like, yeah. How can they? I wish somebody would fucking explain it in the movie because it never gets explained. Well, I think technology has has started to progress. Oh, it's just some for some reason. Because, uh, oh, but but never before, including <laughs> in the Force Awakens, had we heard about such a technology, and yet now it is the main device well, by which the Rebel Alliance has been blow your mind, has been but thwarted. Someone invented a microchip, and we have the same amount of progress in that okay. amount of you time. Know, but you'd be like, you'd be like, <laughs> and in Rogue One, you'd be like, Rogue One is set in the past. What does Rogue One have to do with it? Well, in Rogue One, like they're the, they're talking about technology's progression, and then like, okay, I'm not against the idea of technology progressing. Okay. I'm against the idea that they're like everybody's like, holy shit, how can they track us through light speed? And nobody wants to investigate. They're not like, let's find out. They're like, well, they must have a GPS on board. Well, let's just break their GPS. <laughs> it's like totally get it. Like if they can't find you, they can't track you. But like they can track you somehow. But for some reason, we're not talking about how. Okay, that's just one little thing. Okay, that's just what's that. Oh, they want us to take a call. Okay, they're demanding. They're demanding that we take a call. We'll come back to this. I have a lot more points, but I just want to say, just before we take this call, Mm -hmm. I just want to say that there is this, where I think, like the kind of core plot of the film, Mm -hmm. of the two films. I mean, almost everything. I'm sorry, almost everything in this movie. Even Luke Skywalker, he's like. I'm deciding to die. It's like, why? Leia, Leia, you suddenly using the force for the first time ever to bring herself back to life in outer space and float back into a ship. It's like, okay. I'm sorry. I, the Leia thing no, bothers cool. me because in the first movie, there's no force lightning and no one questioned when it came in. Yeah. So she's using a new force power that no, no, we haven't I don't, seen before. I don't have a problem with that. But a new force, first off, Akbar's killed off screen. Okay, that fuck, was bullshit. Fuck that Akbar. Was bullshit. But Leia, 
and where, which should have like given us like some emotional resonance. Mm-hmm. Like, holy shit, they just killed Leia at the fucking beginning of this movie. I was like, okay, they're gonna make sense. They would kill her. Yeah. Like, but then it's like this is kind of cool, but also why? She's in a coma for the rest of the movie. Yeah. What's the point of showing us that it. she they can use the force? That, yeah. But what and what's the point of like promoting Laura Dern? It's like because you needed to kill a character. Why not have Akbar be the fucking character who yeah. does the suicide battering ram? Yeah. That would be so emotionally also, resonant. I think there would have been a cooler arc for Laura Dern to do a Hunger Games style like President Coin, where you're like, oh my gosh, like this president that I had invested in is just as bad as the other people. But like, also, yeah, I mean, but don't you, Laura Dern's character is like a throwaway, just a foil to Poe. They po. could have done a something po, with po, her. Po, Cameron, who is like literally every person who dies on the rebel side is because Poe Dameron is a fucking idiot. Every but he's time, hot as no, hell. Every, uh, not denying that, but every time. <laughs> by the way, they really played up the the sexual tension between Finn and Poe in this it was movie. Great. Um, but but every time he makes a decision, somebody dies, and at the end they're like, eh, maybe he'd be a good leader though. It's like no, he wouldn't. He literally killed. He decimated all of them. Also, Finn is responsible. But I do like the, the idea that leaders take action, especially in this universe. That's yeah, but they take action. Their action is getting everybody blown up. Okay, let's take a call. Right, let's take a call. Let's okay, take it. We're not. We're not gonna sorry, I'm sorry. This movie actually is full of terrible holes and plot points, and nobody seems to care. And people, what's, okay, I here's know. what bothers me because I am ranting. They're now. all full of plot holes. But here's every Star Wars okay, movie. I is understand a plot that. Hole. No, I get it. Magic but, and technology no, 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 no. and gravity. No, no, no. That's not an excuse. You can't be like it's magic. So no, no, anything no, 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 goes. No. Magic only works when there are fucking rules. No, I'm saying the reason why Anakin goes to the fucking dark side is because he can't get what he needs from the light. Oh, it, but well, that's not, ex- that's a rule. I, well, it's I'm not a rule, but it's that. like it's I'm, a, what I'm saying yeah. is that the magic has holes, the technology has holes, the character development has always had holes. It's not just holes. But that's not the, the point. No, but this is what bothers me is that this movie is like a C. People are treating it like it is fucking Citizen Kane. I don't and think it is, that. It I think is it's not. a solid B plus. Okay, All right, let's, let's take, take some call. calls. Alenko from Bulgaria. Oh wow, Bul- a Bulgarian caller, Alenko. Welcome to the show. Hello. No, he's gone. Alenko. Well, it was we a great, were so excited great to hear call. From our you. first call from Bulgaria, but that's a. Hi, that's hi, a, guys. Oh, 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 hey. Oh, oh, Alenko, hey. we just lost, you, we, we just lost him as he ha- talked. Call Did us we back lose him? in. Call us back in. You we, will, oh yeah, God. we'll let you right back in. Listen, we're not. Uh, the switchboard is very touchy. John's, uh, we John's got, got Col- a trigger trigger finger. Colin from um, St. Louis is calling Colin in. Colin from St. Louis, let's hear it. And then we'll get Alenko back. Howdy, guys. Hi. Hi. Um, so first of all, I want to say that I I actually enjoyed uh, the Force. No, not the Force Awakens. The Last Jedi. Um, unlike I guess the majority of people on Rotten Tomatoes at this point. But uh, oh, my interesting. Main I think complainers it, I, rise to the top. No, no, no. Let's sorry. Let's say, go ahead. Uh, my my main beef with this movie, and there are many, but mm. uh, I just really didn't like that it eliminated a lot of the subplots from. Uh, the Force Awakens, and I'm just not really wondering about a single thing going into the next movie. Yeah, um, there's I mean, just like no really loose ends. Like Ray's parents. Okay, I get. I think it's a really fine idea to be like, oh, your parents are nobodies, but like you literally set up these massive mysteries on purpose in The Force Awakens. Who the hell is Snoke, and what does he want to do, mm-hmm. and what does he want with Kylo Ren, and what does he want with Ray, and. But and, I think it's an interesting and, statement to and, be like, it doesn't fucking matter. Okay, but that's like, but that's like making a statement like, who they, cares? They're all the we're same just here fucking for, bullshit. We're just here for a fun ride. Like, no, no, it no, does, no, no. But I mean, but the that idea, that's the, why Yoda burned all those books because it was like this shit. Yeah, it was the most heavy-handed way of going like, <laughs> hey guys, we're doing, we're going to do a new trilogy after this one. Fuck you, and, Timothy. And on. none of these old characters, Yoda's not going to be in it. Mark Hamill's not going to be in it. It's like we get it. You're going to move on to a bunch of new characters, but they actually started a really nice linear progression there. And by the way. The the it it you know historically and I'm not like a person who needs to have it be historically accurate mm-hmm. but like it was important to Ray in the first film that she found out who her parents were mm-hmm. it was a major point it was like but do you think this is the real reveal or is I, this I a, don't know a, but I don't know but I think back well if it's that then it's extremely cheap I think it's an extreme that's like it's like he dies at the end of the season and then like the start of the next season it's like oh it was just he just got shot in the no, shoulder but this might be a good character progression for Ray and mm. then it, you know you pull the wool out from under her maybe I'm sorry the thing about Snoke I think it's I have two questions about Snoke one why 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 just kill him off with no backstory I mean I sort of like I sort of like it because it's so fucking brazen it was like really amazing like oh you're just gonna kill this guy but then it's like why did he have to be CGI I really don't understand this. He seems so fake. And like, he's just a guy with a fucked up face. You definitely could have done some prosthetics. 
What was the point of him being CGI? Anyhow, sorry. Sorry, you, Colin. Co- Colin, continue to complain about uh, your issues. Um, Ryan, a second ago you said something about Yoda burning the books. Mm-hmm. They weren't burned. Um, they weren't burned. Finn uh, had them. Near the end, you can see them in a drawer. Mm-hmm. Oh. And yeah. uh, Yoda the- actually said, like, Ray, there's nothing in that tree that Ray didn't already have. Oh, like, so literally, she stole them. She has them. Yeah, okay, smart. Yeah, like they show Finn like opening a drawer or something, right? And it's like the books are in there. Hmm. I have a question. Did everybody? The I want to say trilogy was this, just sitting right there. Really quickly, the, uh, one of the most annoying things about this movie was the kid at the end. But I just want to say yeah. the little kid. That's the most. <laughs> that's the most disgusting of all of the plot lines in this. Is like here comes the next generation. I it's don't like, think that's what they were doing. Can I? Yes, they definitely were. But can I, I ask a question? So. Is this well established that everybody knows that this is what we're supposed to see? When he picks up the broom, he uses the force to grab it. Yeah. Okay, so everybody saw that. That's not like a mm-hmm. that's not like a thing that I imagined. <laughs> no, that okay. happened. I'm sorry. It's like there are Jedi's everywhere. They're ba- it's like basically Disney going like, we can make these movies for fucking ever. Now we can cut off the whole. No, but I also the whole Skywalker. the idea of the like the middle chlorian stuff is bullshit. We don't care about that. It's. It's you know, bullshit. everybody still has that be applicable. power within them. Yeah, the midichlorians are still in the mix. You don't know. Uh, but we're not going to talk about it because who gives a shit? No, I mean, that's stupid. But I'm sorry. This movie had a lot in common with The Phantom Menace, though. I disagree. It Although did. Although there is a racing scene. <laughs> no, the racing scene, the fucking all the animal tie-ins. All I the, love the fucking, them all. No, they really are. They got Phantom Menace on this one. The fucking, I'm sorry, the, the crystal, the, the crystal, worst. crystal foxes. Get out of here. I loved them, the little oh Pokemon. What were you going to say, Colin? The worst similarity with the the... The Phantom Menace is the stupid comic release every 10 seconds. Oh my God. It's so I will say they could have turned unbearable. that down slightly. The worst, no, the worst. And I like also, the impulse. And also, some of the dialogue is straight up George Lucas. Every single character into Jar Jar. Yeah, you know what? Actually, Laura, my wife was saying, like, because Han Solo's dead and nobody, they have, they don't have the comic relief anymore, mm-hmm. it's like everybody's picking up the slack it for been Han Poe. Solo. Poe should have been like the wisecracking, whatever. There could have been. I mean, look, some of the jokes are really good. Like, yeah. the iron, the, the iron yeah. joke is amazing. But, like, I'm sorry. Like, there's just stuff that is, yeah. I mean, the the jo- I actually don't mind the the comic relief that much. It was a little bit over the top. Yeah, but um, it could have been the, turned the down one relief, notch. Like Hux didn't need to. The comic relief seemed to overpower the actual plot. Uh, like the first two acts of the movie, I just could not pay attention to what was actually going on. Oh, it's totally uh, boring. I was constantly being pulled out of it. Yeah, no, no, mm. no. I mean, there. Like, I liked the opening gag. I get with more Hux. pulled out of stuff when it's too. Like, there's no humor, there's no lightness, like, when it's just pure darkness. Blah, 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 blah. But I, I, thought, I, I get pulled out of stuff like that. I thought the opening thing with Hux, where, like where Poe's fucking with him, I thought was really funny. Mm-hmm. And I thought that that opening, that was a great gambit. Like, the bomb thing was really strong. But, like, I do think they went a little bit too far with some of the joke. I mean, yeah, a little it's bit. just like... It just felt like every scene. There's a lot scene, of DreamWorks face, a lot of like. Whoa. Yeah, like every scene felt like it needed. I'll tell you what, that, I'm sorry, it was really Phantom Menace and basically George Lucas level dialogue is when they're on the casino planet. Mm-hmm. And she's like, I'd love, I'd love to smash this whole crazy, this like beautiful, horrible world. And it's like serious fucking like eye roll, like you're trying to do some like <laughs> Casablanca level dialogue. And it just is very clunky. Yeah, I, don't I don't know. It's All bad. right. Thank you for your call. Yes, Colin. Colin thank We've you. got Alenko back. Alenko. And, um, I. Uh, our Bulgarian, our Bulgar- Bulgarian buddy, Alenko, are you there? Hi, hi guys. Hi, sorry hey. about before. Yeah, how are you? Oh, that, that's fine. I think my uh, phone dropped. Um, I, I saw the movie. Uh, I, I have a, a few points to your discussion. I saw the movie on IMAX this Friday, and on the scenes with Snoke um, and Kylo Ren, uh, it, because they were very, very very much uh, close-ups. I, for a moment, I thought that the CGI of Snoke is better than the cameras that are shooting real people, which was very <laughs> funny. It, That's it, interesting. It, you're like you're like Kylo it, Ren looks less real than Snoke. Yeah, I can see that. No, I mean, it looks his, really good. Some of his makeup actually was kind of fake looking. I thought. I loved the amount of puppetry that the film had. Yeah, well, Yoda was back in the mix. Oh, so good. All right, so that's an interesting point. Yeah, and that's it, fucked up. 
yeah, that, that 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 was like I was like, what is happening here? And uh, in the three D movie, or uh, now it came to the point where humans look worse. Yeah, but Snoke couldn't and walk. I mean, I know I he had a little hitch in his get along, but Snoke also looked CGI when he was walking. Like, yeah, I the was mo- like, there was a moment in motion. I kept saying, yeah. everything here looks photorealistic when it's frozen. It's something is still unreal about the motion. Yeah, it's like it's like maybe just don't. Get but a, the puppets look good. I thought even if you guy, don't like them, those ice boxes in that were robe. puppets, and they looked fantastic. Those were puppets. Those were puppets. Yoda was a puppet. Some of the pork stuff the, was puppetry. Wait, the ice fo- the ice foxes were puppets. Yeah, they we have look, footage of that. I think they we look saw like, it up earlier. They look like CGI to me. Yeah, they look. Okay. Oh, I thought they looked great. Mm. But anyway, you wanted to call in about toys, Alenko? Uh, no, no. I, I just want just wanted to to say that I I thought that um, uh, the director was given a point like you should put every. A living or dead character in the Star Wars universe in this movie <laughs> because we can sell toys. So that's why in an obscure moment where uh, Luke wants to destroy uh, the books, uh, just Yoda pops up and yeah. because he's dead, yeah. and then <laughs> well, shoots you know. the lightning and destroys everything. And like, what is happening here? Yeah, and yeah. also, why did they bring up Mas Kanata uh, when they called oh my her God. and she was so, fighting something? No, it's so cheesy. No, and, yeah, and the they thing she need like, to bring and she was like, she was like, it's a union dispute, happening? which is so dumb. It's like not even about the plot. It's like, oh, and, I'm just and, having a fight. And, and how... Be- because usually a communication in Star Wars is something like the canon. Like, they don't have media in this movie. Mm. They don't have mm-hmm. newspapers. They don't remember anything. From from an episode to episode, everything is retold. That's why the children at the end, like, told the story of a Luke Skywalker. Like, this is a good thing about this Star Wars universe. If you can imagine a world without a media, that's what it is. And now they call Mas Kanata, and then she, she's shot from something like a drone that goes around her. Yeah. And she kills people and fights and I'm like why is this ever occurring yeah. i mean yeah. what's happening here i mean uh, i think the director got an order to bring back every I think unless, it's unless, unless the these are the things that they'll tie into the last movie like that uh, union you just like the dice in. you mean like the retcon dice that they're like <laughs> okay now admittedly i've seen some photos there are dice at some point hanging in uh, the Millennium Falcon, but they never are never ever ever part of any films, okay, sure. except for this one. And now suddenly they're like, his dice. And it's, I was like, when they first showed them, I was like, and also that little symbol, the her little the thing that that uh, Rose is wearing. Yeah, I've never seen that symbol before. Is that in the other movies? I don't know. No. Okay, but the fact that you don't fucking know is like <laughs> they're basically like they're so abusive of the audience here. They're sure. like, like you won't care. We're gonna put it in and say it's part of the mythology, and you'll just believe it because you're a sucker. And it's like, well, why don't you actually use things from the mythology? Like, I think that's a great idea. But like, don't retcon some fucking dice and make it seem like we're supposed to know mm. what they are. This is a little bit off topic, but someone wrote in and said that, um, by the way, thank you for calling in, Alenko. Yes, thank you. That was a great point. The toy thing is really funny. That's a really interesting point. Um, Someone wrote, maybe Snoke's not dead, and what we were seeing was a hologram a la Luke. No, he was cut in half, and then his legs fall onto the ground. I think they, I think they make that clear when Hux is standing there, and the legs slide off the chair. Yeah, things like that was. I mean, maybe he should have put on that gold top. That was like. Yeah, I agree. (laughs) I, I I just also say like. I mean, I feel like there's so much in this movie that is, I said this already about the fuel thing, Mm -hmm. but there's so many moments in this film that are just like, we need something to help the plot work. So we'll just make up MacGuffin um, um, or a day such machina, like some, right. So there's a fuel that when the, when they bring, okay, first off, they're like, oh, this new gun, it's Death Star, portable Death Star tech. It's like. Well, that's interesting. That's feels like maybe we should have heard a little bit more about. Never heard about that being deployed any time, but like we know that it exists. It's like okay, fine. Um, but they're like, but it needs to warm up. So we have just I enough time to develop a, few a plot. Of those and they had a few too many. We're gonna develop the. Pl- we'll just get some. We'll give them just enough time to get away while they're warming up the gun or whatever, you mm-hmm. know. And like the thing with Luke, him uh, force projecting when his parts of him are real, parts of him aren't. I mean, fine. Okay, force projection's a thing now. Okay, cool. Whatever. If that's what you want to do. He leaves the dice. He hands the dice to Leia. Leia leaves the dice there. She's like, I don't care about these dice. Not (laughs) important to her at all. Kylo Ren picks up the dice, but then they dissolve. It's like the dice only last for a certain amount of time. Is that the deal? I guess. He's like force projecting to make sure these they're there long enough for him to pick (laughs) them up. Like, I don't... It's just like there's so many like little like weird logic holes Mm -hmm. that... Made it so unsatisfying and made it seem like, like so. All the films have these. No, really? Let's think of them in The Force Awakens. Let's talk about some of the logic holes in The Force Awakens. I haven't seen it again recently. I well, don't have just, a list. Okay. With me. I mean, do you remember anything standing out? Like, you're like, that doesn't make any sense. 
I mean, it, just even the stuff where like when Poe should have died and they didn't kill him because they were like, this is a popular what do you character. Mean? Why? With that like crash. He got away. Yeah, but that he that doesn't make any sense. Why? People it's, survive crashes. Okay. I mean, a pilot surviving a crash is not uncommon. I don't know. I think that didn't make any sense. To me. But I mean, we he have crash more calls landed. Here. The ship was there. All right, let's take some more calls. We have Ryan from Chicago. Ryan. Uh, Ryan, what, tell Two us Ryans. something good. Two Ryans on him, one Josh. Hey, how's it going? Hey, how are you? What's up? What numbering, you know. Yeah, seriously. What's, what do you um, think about the film? So I'm going to talk about something that I liked about the film, and I'm not saying any of you guys are wrong with what you're criticizing, but I liked it. I liked it, too. Uh, I, you anyway. know, I, I enjoyed it, but I thought it had a lot of problems. I, I don't disagree with that. Yes. <laughs> but I still err on the side of good. Uh, uh, yeah, okay. So one thing that I think that The Last Jedi did a lot better than uh, The Force Awakens is not do so many, uh, like, callbacks. Like, to be honest, The Force Awakens was pretty much a remake, almost, of A New Hope in terms of content. You have Ray on the desert island, uh, desert planet. Mm-hmm. You have the mentor cut down by the evil guy at the end, um, and everything in between. It, it felt very much like I was watching A New Hope all over again for new audiences. Hmm. And I the mean, Last Jedi. Yeah, it's a greatest hits album. Yeah, I mean, to a degree, right. but Ray, Ray, and Luke are not the same character. I mean, yes, they're both on a, they're both like essentially orphans on a desert planet. Mm-hmm. But I wouldn't say that, like, their I mean, story it's arc... It's not like... I mean, Luke gets, like, drafted by Obi-Wan Kenobi, you know? I mean, mm-hmm. essentially. Like, or drafts himself, you know? Like, I, I don't know if it's exactly the same... I mean, I feel like their story arcs are actually different. They just happen to both be on desert. Ray has more get up and go, and Ray is also more conflicted. I also think Ray's more powerful than Luke, both as a character and like in I sheer agree. abilities. I agree with that. And I think that makes for different choices when you have more power. And I think what's interesting to watch, um, especially nowadays through the lens of we have a more empowered youth who has more power for communication and mm-hmm. f- political change. Mm-hmm. And that makes your choices heavier. And you can't trust that there will always be someone to tell you what to do because the circumstances are completely different than they've ever been. Sure. And I think that's interesting that the films um, take all of that into consideration. It's definitely an anti-Trump film. I mean, it was saying, fuck sure. the boomers, fuck the Snoke. Snoke we is don't like Trump. save the world by like fighting what we hate. We save what we love. And, I was like, ah! And, <laughs> and I saw uh, this at the Alamo draft house, so I was very drunk. Oh, God in heaven. All right, so, okay, so so The Force Awakens, you felt like, was, a, was just a reboot of A New Hope. You liked this film. Because mm-hmm. it's not. Because it's not. Yeah, it... it subverted a lot of the uh, expectations that folks have. Uh, I don't know what that last planet was, the uh, the salt planet. Yeah. But, mm-hmm. you know, they, they showed that. They showed the uh, ATs. I don't think those were actually AT-ATs. They had different feet. But, uh, mm-hmm. yeah. And, and they're like, oh, my God, it's the exact same fucking thing as uh, Hoth. I swear. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, you uh, can definitely swear. It's the exact same thing as Empire Strikes Back with Hoth and the Escape. Yeah. And then they're like, oh, yeah, this is salt. Yeah. And, and so uh, what else did they subvert? Yeah. I mean, these are uh, minor they, subversions. Right. But I mean, they it, didn't copy, they didn't copy a movie. Really, I agree. Yeah, they, this was a not a movie. copy of any movie. But The Phantom Menace was a brand new movie, I mean, it was too. a little bit. You had I mean, you want to see, like, see some original Star Wars storytelling that doesn't emulate any of the old ones? Watch the first three, that, the, the one, two, and three that George Lucas did. They're, those are very original. <laughs> They're very original. You could never see those plots How coming. How dare you? How dare you? <laughs> Phantom Menace. But there's also, I mean, there's moments in this, too, where, like, two Jedi, like a Jedi, and I don't know if we're calling, uh, like, a First Order guy, um, uh, uh, but at one point are yeah. are fighting together against an enemy with their two different fighting styles. Like that was cool to see. No, and that the, scene was the fucking prequels excellent. should have delivered on that stuff. The prequels should have delivered on no, I have a, a mentor and now it's the opposite where I want knowledge from the mentor and the mentor won't give it to me as opposed to the opposite. You know, Revenge of the Sith is actually has got some really amazing moments. Yeah, it's moments got good moments. It. It's the only I one mean, you need to watch. I mean, Revenge of the Sith actually in fact I have to say the You don't need the other time. The similarities between uh, Anakin in Revenge of the Sith and Kylo Ren here mm-hmm. were really striking to me. And also a little bit with Rey. Like, not in Revenge of the Sith, but in those, that, that was the second Attack of the Clones. Yeah. There, um, there's some similarities where she's like, I don't know. Am I good? Am I bad? I don't know. I like, I know what I need to do and yeah. I don't care how I have to do it. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. Like, 
those movies are bad. Yeah. Like, they're really they quite, have good. There's good ideas in there. They're quite bad. I mean, I watched The Phantom Menace recently. Uh, and a lot of people are like, you could re-edit it and make it a good... No, the dialogue is bad. No, no, bad. no. It also, they also the look... Is they also, no, they are visually disgusting. <laughs> disgusting. Like, like, they really... Like, I don't know what fucking... The Clone Planet's the worst thing I've ever seen Like, George life. Lucas needed, like, better glasses he had, during like, the making of this stuff. Too. Yeah, like... <laughs> He's like, this is totally real. It's like, no, it definitely looks like people no. are floating on a green screen. No, y- like, Yoda has turned into a rubbery hotshot. Oh <laughs> no, I did like, I did like the fact that they used the puppet Yoda. Yeah, that was. Great. I thought that was a good pushback. We were watching The Empire Strikes Back um, the next day, and you know, it's like, I mean, Yoda looks fake in that, but he's more real. Yeah, I think he's real. He's a real thing. You know. Yeah, I'd rather that. Anyway, thank you for your call, Ryan. Yeah, sorry, I don't know if we let you really get your whole thought out there, but but uh, it's burdening. Them's amazing. the breaks. Yeah, do we have any other calls? Yeah, we've got Nertiwe, which I think is how you pronounce it. Please correct me when you get on here. We're um, fi- from we're gonna, Seattle. We're gonna find out. Hello. Hi. How do you pronounce your name? Did we get it or did he blow it? Did I blow it? No, uh, he blew it. Um, uh, how do you pronounce tell us how it? How to pronounce it? Uh, Narrow it. Okay. Okay. Cool. All right. Yeah, I think on. there I may be a spelling error that. on my thing. That's all. <laughs> okay. He's blaming it on a technical <laughs> error. Let's blame it on the booth. That'll all solve right, so everything. Let's, let's talk about what did you think of the film? Yeah, I, I thought it was a great comedy. Um, <laughs> now, they wow. really focused on, on the comedy. It made just the whole First Order feel so comical. Uh, yeah. General Hux felt like Spaceballs plus different no. parodies. I mean, I thought, like, at the beginning with Hux, like, I, at first I was like, oh, my God, this character sounds so ridiculous. And then I was like, oh, they're making, they're blowing it out of proportion to show this, like, how he's being made fun of. Mm-hmm. But now that I think of it, I'm like, why? Like, like, why would you, ma- I mean, I get that the, the, the military guys are cartoonish, like, bad guys, but, like, yeah. they're in your fucking world. Like, they're not like that in the, in the Force Awakens. Like, they're just, like, military guys. Yeah. You know, now they're, like, buffoons. They're, like, Hogan's heroes. I yeah. guess. Go ahead. C- carry on. Yeah, like, you know, if you look at the original trilogy, you can see Grand Moff Tarkin and so on. You're like, oh, yeah, they, they got here because they were skilled or whatever. But then First Order, they're just all incompetent buffoons. And I mean, the way they took they out Phasma bothered me because she didn't seem ever to be incompetent. She seemed to have a clear character directive of, like, I knew I know who I am. I know what I want. And I'm not I'm not like character head does not exist. But I don't know. All uh, maybe I'm projecting char- on I'm sorry, but I really like that character. This goes for and the it's Force kind of Awakens. Lazy that they got rid of it. Really? I think this goes for the Force Awakens with that character that she, all the only reason she exists is because they like Gwendolyn Christie and they wanted to make that shiny suit. Like, I literally think the only reason that, that, that that character exists is because um, they thought it would look cool. I guess I, it just feels like a wasted opportunity for us to get more insight onto the philosophy of someone who's in the force, the first order. I, saw, I also think like the problem with the prequels is that we should have gotten been sold on the dark side a little bit more. Like we should have been like, this seems like a valid choice. Like this is a different philosophy. I don't we agree don't know. With it, yeah, but we don't know what the dark side actually like what they want. We don't know, and we don't know what Kylo Ren, Kylo Ren wants either. So it's like we're and, bad. And we also, destroy things. also, especially the story, right. the story with Luke, where he felt. Like threatened and thought about killing him, and then and then Kylo Ren reacted to that. It almost gives him. You're like, well, maybe he just like he got pushed into this, and like he doesn't really want to be doing this. It almost mm-hmm. seemed like when he was talking to Ray, it was like maybe you could like join force with him and then just convince him to like stop blowing things up. But I think what the point was that <clears throat> given that power, like power corrupts, and I shouldn't have all of it. I mean, maybe does it? I don't know. I don't think. I don't think Thank that's you true. for your call. Wait, is that it? Is that all you have for us? Wait, no, no, but just, oh, okay. like, one more thing, right? Like, okay. the movie has no weight, or there's just never any stakes, because you never actually believe that the bad guy is going to accomplish anything. Yeah, it's true. Like, mm-hmm. like it, it, there was never a question. I mean, they killed a lot of anonymous people. Yeah. They killed Laura Dern, who they introduced a brand new character for 45 minutes, and then got rid of her. Akbar is annoying that they killed him off screen, yeah. and I know, that I'm not the only, I know that I'm not the only person who feels this way. Mm-hmm. They took a beloved character... <laughs> And they gave him the death of, like, literally any rando person in a ship that you never even see. Um, I kind of feel like that was their way of being, like, we don't give a shit about you, No, I get it. They're like, we don't care. But (laughs) but they also don't care about the the intelligence of their fans, which is to say Uh, they don't care if the plots don't make any sense or if all of the characters that you were building up actually are buffoons. Like, Poe and Finn aren't just, like, slight fuck-ups. They're responsible for the deaths of hundreds, if not thousands, of people, mm-hmm. based on what I saw in but, this film. But I mean, that's what happens in a war. Any choice you make, people are going to die. Yeah, I understand that, but the, these are our. So, we're supposed to root it, for it these feels characters. Like they're always winking at each other. 
Yeah, because they're going to make out later. Well, they're definitely going to make yeah. out. I mean, <clears throat> that's the, but, uh, the first. I have a question for you guys. Yeah, um, sure. Which is, what do you think about the whole Kylo Ren Ray Skype plot device? I oh. liked it. So at first, I was like, "What the fuck's going on?" And I was almost at the, I was like, almost like this sucks. But I think that the that they're such great actors, mm-hmm. and those scenes and were, the characters are so parallel. Yeah, and they're so, and those scenes were so well written that originally I was like, right at the beginning, I was like, "This is annoying." But I very quickly was like, okay, I'll allow it. I'm like going to allow this like because because like their interaction was so good. But like, you know, what would have been better? Like them. And being I like that a... Snoke was like, I was doing it. And I don't think he was. I think he knew it was happening and he was mind fucking with them. I don't, I, th- th- I don't think he was doing it. I think those two are destined no, I think to take like, each other out I and that'll be the balance. I think what happened they'll is they'll both die. He was doing it. And then they'll, they'll rebuild the universe without them. I mean, they could end up making out, right? They're not brother and sister. Yeah, they can make out. I mean, they could like everyone can make do out. It. I'll be honest with you. If Ray, if Ray it's, and Kylo it's, Red, no if Ray and Kylo Red don't fuck in the next movie, Ray kiss I, Luke. I'm gonna be very <laughs> upset. I'm gonna be very upset. Yeah, but, like, they should they have could, some crazy forced sex. Yeah, that, like on Buffy know. when she took down a house. Yeah, oh, I think you said forced sex. I was no, like, no, no, I don't no, think no. that'd be appropriate. Forced sex, like yeah, magic forced, sex. Forced sex. Yeah, like when Willow and Tara were floating. Okay, I didn't see it. Spoiler alert! You're ruining it for me. But I will say, I will say. I think it could have been really bad, that Skype stuff, but it actually ended up being really, one, of the, one of my favorite parts of the film. Can I talk about Laura Dern's hair for a second? Sure. Thank okay. you for your call, by the way. Yes, we thank gotta, you. We got to get Thank you, callers, sir. We got other you. callers. Okay, Laura Dern's hair. Is she... I loved it. Uh, no. Is she an alien? <laughs> an alien and their race, their only thing is they have weird colored hair? I think so. Or is she a human being a, or a hum, whatever they call the humans in this? Yeah. I don't know what they're People. called, humans. People. I don't know. Is she like a non-alien? I don't Homo know. sapien. I don't know. Yeah, who, I think she dyed an her alien. hair. Who dyed her hair purple? No, I think in which she's case an alien. I'm like, you're part of the Rebel Alliance. You're fighting for your life, and you have time to fucking get some manic panic. I don't know. Carrie Fisher had time to do a lot of hairstyles. <laughs> she had a team. <laughs> she has a team. <laughs> she has a crew. Um, I think yeah, sure. Either way, I'm fine with it. I do. God, my Durant's character was so. I took so away bad. that she was an alien. I like her I character. Liked it. You know what? I, at the beginning, she reminded me a lot of a Hillary Clinton, where everyone hates no, 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 her. No, no, no. But they at shouldn't. The, at the beginning, I really liked. I really liked the interplay where it was like, oh, yeah, Poe, you're like an impetuous guy who's mm-hmm. fucking everything up for everybody. And she's like a mature, you know, clear headed woman who's taking command. Awesome. Mm-hmm. But then like. I don't know. I don't know. Let's I don't take know. our next call. Yeah, let's take another call. All right. We've got Kevin from Scotland. I'm excited oh, about wow. your accent. A lot of international I'm not going to imitate it, but Kevin, I will at home later. Kevin, lay it on us. <laughs> yeah. Hey, guys. Hey, I just. There's two main things. I mean, there's hundreds of things wrong with the film, but the two yeah. main things are yeah. the fact that the, the First Order can't catch the, re- the Resistance fleet. Ridiculous. For no the, ship. They live in a universe. No fucking ship can get to them. space capabilities. Right. Yeah. All of a sudden, no the, ship the, can the reach. The Millennium Falcon... Yeah. Sorry, sorry. The Millennium Falcon can leave Achto and get to the First Order ships and drop off Ray, but the, 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 the First Order ships can't... Right. Jump right. forward and get they ahead of the. Pilot. They don't have ships. right. They Seems literally insane. right. I totally agree with this. They don't have a ship in their right in their fleet, and they have a fucking dreadnought. Yeah, but they don't. Have, or they used to. They don't have a ship. I mean, it sounds like they have several dreadnoughts, right? But yeah. like they, they made don't it clear have. That they did. They don't have a Millennium Falcon level ship that will can fly over there. It's clear that they're yeah, like. Yeah, but that's, that, 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 that were in in the Star Wars universe. They were they were flying at sublight speeds, so. All they've got to do is use hyperspace. I mean, everybody flies about everywhere in hyperspace. Yeah. Did they address Finn that about? flew a Canto Bright through hyperspace and yeah. got back right. to the, the First Order fleet. Right. But they can't just send half their fleet forward using hyperspace. And yeah. I mean, they, they, can, they should they, have addressed that. You're saying, they could get in, you're saying they could get in front of them, essentially. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, using hyperspace. Yeah. see, this is what I'm talking it's about. It's insane. so insulting. It's, it, it, it's like as a plot, it's yeah. the main yeah. plot device as to why all of those people are still alive. It's like this completely solvable problem that and I get the first order. They're all they fucked should up. Have addressed you don't think it. there's one scientist on the fucking they ship that's like, it. hey, you know, we could just fly the ships in front of it. I also think that maybe there was a story that they wanted to tell and they were retrofitting the what the, the logistics of the universe, which they shouldn't have done. Perhaps they should have yeah. said, where are the chess pieces and where do we want to move them? As opposed to saying, like, I'd like to see a movie where this happens. There's a million other ways they could have, like, yeah. there's a million other yeah, I got that. games they could have. All right, what else What else do you have for us here? Uh, the treatment of uh, Luke Skywalker as a character just seems totally incongruous with everything that we've known from the, the previous trilogy. In what way? Uh, and th- we've taken a guy who's come from, a, say, a desert planet and become a, a hero, fought the, the Emperor and Darth Vader, 
and on learning that his student is possibly going to turn to the dark side, he goes off and sulks in a planet on his own for however many years. We don't we don't really know. It seems, and then when he when he finds out that his student, his, his nephew, has killed his best friend and assisted in the genocide of trillions of people and a destroy a whole star system, he still thinks, "I'm just going to sulk on this planet." Yeah, no, no, <laughs> no, no, it's, I, I will the, say the Skywalker from the previous trilogy. I mean, I've heard he's this thinking from he would people. Jump straight back into yeah, how did he not? I'm sorry. At the end, he's a force projection. It's like. Why yeah. would he go oh, that, there? That's, that's the like, worst part. actually fucking go yeah. there. Yeah. That what an amazing death yeah. for Luke Skywalker would have been to save the rest of the Rebel Alliance by fighting and holding off the, you know, he could have made it his choice. And I think ultimately yeah, he but, he his him as a character, I, I did actually look at it and felt mirrored to men in my life who I know and and women in my life who I know started out um, sort of, and I'm, maybe I'm mapping it too close to our pol- politics, but that started out feeling like, you know, r- rebellious and like politically active. There's something I can do. I can change the world, blah, 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 blah. And then slowly have become sort of Trump voters and of the mindset of like, fuck it all. It doesn't matter. Oh, it's all think, bullshit. And think I think he, they're You think he represents like an old person an, who's yeah. like given up hope. Who's like, fuck it. And it's like, I'm just going to take cares? care of myself. Yeah. And fuck everybody. I up. mean, but I just, and I, I, and I understand you know. that. And he came around and said like, maybe I'm not the person who can change the universe now. I'm too old. Like, it's not my time to do that. But I also understand that I was wrong to, to, mm. to be complacent. And I thought that was an interesting take yeah, on it. I guess so. I mean, it would have gone a long yeah, way to helping everybody had he been there in person, yeah. I think. Yeah, sure. He, you know, like, he, 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 he actually could have killed, killed Kylo Ren, which would have stopped I everything. Also like I, mean, that, I also like that he was the kind of um, Jedi teacher that when Kylo Ren was like, that guy tried to kill me. Everyone was like, we think you're right. And that's probably happened. And let's go be evil because fuck him. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone hated him so much. He's definitely hooking up with fish oh, nuns. I actually have a question. I have a question. <laughs> I have a question about the story. I'm very curious, okay? And I'm sure this is, I really hope they're going to do something with this in the third Mm -hmm. movie. They kept talking about the story. They never show or really talk about what happened to the other students. They say they were killed. I think they say that some of them. I think they become the Knights of Ren. Okay, they were taken. Okay, I don't think they're the the Knights of Ren. I mean, if they are the Knights of Ren, where are they? Uh, Well, I will, I, I wonder if the Knights of Ren are already dead or if, doesn't They're going to come in the last movie, and, and Kylo will be like, all right, let's do this. He gets or his knights together. He's got his boys. I mean, they, going weren't, to town. they weren't Stag Knight. They weren't Snoke's guard because those weren't Jedi. <laughs> okay. Right? I mean, they, none of them had no, lightsabers. No, no, none those, of them were using those guards, the force. Those red yeah. guards, no. Those are just like, they were awesome, though. Yeah, they, I mean, I do wonder how they saw, but like that's another. I want a video game where I can kill them. Well, there is one, I think, the new Battle Star. I haven't yeah, played I think. the new one. At any rate, the last one was so bad. But like, what happened? I think they're leaving something vague about. They make it sound like Kylo Ren killed all the other students, but I don't think that's what happened. I think Kylo Ren was taken forcibly by Snoke, and I think other students were as well, and probably some were killed. Yeah. They, they don't really make that clear, but they yeah, I don't think it's so obvious. It's it, like literally they're saying he did exactly what Anakin did. Well, maybe what's going to happen is a bunch of them, those boys are going to be together, and they're going to be like, we hate Luke, we hate the Jedi, this is also stupid. And what they're going to say is like, Luke's gone. All yeah, of that is gone. Where would Who they do you have, hate? But where would they have been I for the know. whole film or the other two films? Hoth. I just think it's very suspicious. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for your call, Kevin. <laughs> We have Can a you couple more questions. One more point. Oh yeah, yeah, sure, fine. Did, one did more they, point. Make it quick. Did anybody cringe? Sorry. Did anybody cringe when Snoke said "spunk"? I don't know if that means a different thing in U.S. English than American English. Oh, but these days. What? What? That she's, got, she's, she's got. She's got like, spunk. Is that what he did says? Did you just say that? I mean, yeah, I think yeah. there is a there is a clean use of the I think word. It's like well, a fanny. It certainly is. And we know what you mean. Is. There's a dirty yeah. use of the word, yeah. and I it's like fanny. Yeah. I definitely was no. I, mean, I definitely was like mm, fanny pack. Spunk's not the perfect. I wouldn't. You, you know, wouldn't have used the word. Like, I wouldn't have put that word in my. What's he gonna say? What's he gonna say? Yeah. Moxie. She's got moxie. You know, that's a she's drink. Real... That's a drink from like Cincinnati <laughs> from 1920. She's like, got a can't... lot of sparkle right <laughs> chick. <laughs> I mean, she's got spunk. I, had, shot. I get it, but like, yeah, you yeah. could like she, yeah. you know, pizzazz. You could be like, she's got pizzazz. <laughs> a little razzle dazzle, wing wing, two wings. No, poor, 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 beautiful Snoke. <laughs> All right, well, thank you, Kevin. Yeah, she's, she's got chutzpah. <laughs> like, I can't even do Snoke's voice. Look at her <laughs> little punum. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Sp- yeah. Jedi are space Jews. Seriously. Next question uh, or next they are, comment? They're kind of chased down like Jews. They are, and they've yeah. got all the secrets. And you don't have to be one to be a good person. And their religion is dying, and everybody hates them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Everyone in every power position thinks they're bullshit. Yeah. Hi, Daniel from Atlanta. Uh, hi, it's Samuel, actually, with an F. Oh, oh okay, fine. Whatever. 
You know what? Names are, un- names are unimportant here. What? Take your new Sith name. Don't worry <laughs> about. You. Don't worry about your your given name. Yeah, your name is Kylo Anyel. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, so my big issue with this, and it's uh, because I'm a science-based film fan, and mm-hmm. watching this movie, not a good movie the for you. Cruiser- <laughs> yeah, you should not go to the movies. <laughs> Do not see any of the Avengers films. <laughs> go ahead. Oh, science-based. I, I mean, I I accept that Star Wars is fantasy. Like I, I acknowledge that and I accept it. Yeah. But when I watch this movie, Star Wars seems to like to play with physics whenever it wants to. Because if you know anything about physics. When you accelerate to light speed, you should never stop. So in theory, if they want to get away from the first order, just just go to light speed. Stay there. And I they can't. They didn't have enough fuel. They, they, didn't, have also they like, didn't have enough fuel. Are you saying that inertia can just carry them in light speed? Yeah. In space, if you accelerate, your velocity stays constant unless you apply... So you're uh, saying I get to light speed. You, so, so you're saying I get to light speed in my, in my spaceship... And then I turn off the engines, and I'm still I'm gonna at be, light speed. I'm going to be in light speed indefinitely. Because you're not pushing back. Wait, but maybe they need maybe they need yeah, the fuel to do, but maybe they, 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 maybe they need the fuel to dodge no to dodge objects. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Are you even worried about objects at light speed? Seems like you'd be hitting shit all the time at I light mean, speed. Is that true? Yes. They have shields though. The way Star Wars, the way Star Wars seems to work with it is just the spaceship has computers that can track where stars are, and then once you're at light speed, you can pretty much just keep going. So if they Sorry. wanted to get away from the First Order, and also, like, with those ships, when the ships ran out of fuel and they fell back and they turned, that, that shouldn't have happened. They should have kept going in a straight line yeah. Yeah. as the other ships kept going I'm, forward. I'm really but glad the, that the someone has a... I'm glad that someone has a more insane problem with some of the stuff that happens in the movie than I do. This puts my, my complaints in perspective where, like, I sound now sound fairly reasonable. You're like, actually, I was reading about light speed. And, you know, it's like, that's a complaint that I actually, by uh, the way, you're totally valid for you to save have. Save me from actually Twitter. Totally like, valid for you to have, but I do think, like, you know, y- when you're getting into, like, well, how come light speed doesn't work right in these movies? You're kind of like, you might be on Because they own. came up with it in the 70s and high on cocaine. Yeah, well, actually, they <laughs> never use that. No, no, that speed, the light speed travel they show. Yeah. They use it very sparingly in the in the early films. Yeah. Like, they don't, ships no, are just not, zooming around all over the fucking zip, zip, zip. Yeah. 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 All right, all right. Well, any other? Thank any? You. Uh, parsecs. Yeah, parsecs. Yeah, parsecs. I mean, any? I will say. Yeah. I will say, overall, I, d- I did like the movie. It's just. <laughs> Star Wars seems to See? just say we like space physics sometimes and we don't like it other well, times. What's going just, on with anti gravity? You can. I'm sorry. Wouldn't uh, anti gravity? Wouldn't wouldn't uh, that's just a sci fi trip? Yeah. Wouldn't wouldn't uh, I mean wouldn't Leia, wouldn't Leia have like lasers that exploded stop. or frozen or something instantly like. Not if she has what the happens yeah, exactly. her wizard power. What happens Josh? when you get shot out okay. into space? What space actually happens wizards? to your body if you're nude and you get shot into space? I think you implode. So right? it's it's. It's not as dramatic a process as movies would have you believe. It's pretty just slowly as it's, it's more of a slow death. You can there's tons of videos on YouTube you can watch, but like so it is possible that Leia could be alive for a few seconds okay. and maybe getting back to the ship. Didn't in they time. also pull the same That's shit in, in Guardians? Stretch. Didn't they also pull the same thing in Guardians of the Galaxy too? I feel like they had this exact same uh, sequence where somebody got shot yeah. in space and was like living out there for a few seconds and they had to get like saved. Well, I'll get Bob Iger on the phone and tell him to stop <sighs> recycling ideas. Yeah, seriously. Thank you for your call, Daniel. Y- yeah, thank you. We actually need to wrap up. Yeah. But sh- in sad, conclusion, sad, I had a good first. time. I mean, you I did not. I would have had a good time if it were 30 minutes shorter. I could have ex- I could have allowed for all of the dumb holes and plot points and like annoying moments if they had just shortened the movie considerably sure. like they didn't need the casino world at all there are so many other ways those like idiots that. could have bumbled their way onto the fucking ship sure. they're sure. also like i mean think about what it says about the characters and what the audience will tolerate that these people were sent to find a specific like whatever he is code, code cracker breaker. code breaker we didn't even talk about him they find him they get thrown in jail over a parking violation Okay, and then they, and then instead of going back, breaking out and going back to find that guy, they take the g- random person they met in prison to get to to save the lives of all of the Rebel Alliance. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's really insulting. Yeah. Anyhow, all right. Listen, <laughs> we're that's not going to so have a show, show, show over the holiday. Obviously, yeah. um, we love Jesus, and too we're much. not going to have it on right after the New Year. So you can stay tuned next year. Oh I my guess. God. This is our last show for the year. The year. It's fucked up. Well, it's been a crazy year. I've really enjoyed it. Uh, we've gone through a lot of changes, a lot of transitions. We've had a lot of things happen. 
Um, you know, and it's been we've been done it together. Yeah, I mean, you and me, but also the people out and now there. Now all of our listeners and callers. It's so nice. Oh, it's been a wonderful I love time. It. And I listen, love the chat you know, room. 2017 was a real piece of shit. Yeah, but I have a good feeling about 2018. <laughs> I said that last year. I have a good feeling. I'm feeling <laughs> good about 2018. How about when Taylor Swift said, "Couldn't have asked for a better year." Taylor Swift really. Is, <laughs> Taylor Swift is a fucking naughty Trump supporter. It's really? a well known fact. Everybody knows this. Ivanka Swift. Exactly. Anyhow, on that note, 2018. Yeah, 2018. And I'd like to plug. Oh, we got to plug. I'm doing an Indiegogo campaign. I'm not going to get into the details, but. Why wouldn't you? It's more a plug. streaming video from me. I want to build an indie TV network with cool people um, on Twitch. So if you go to brainwashing.com, but the A is a V, so it's B R A I N W V S H I N G. So it's brainwashing? Brainwashing. Okay, so brainwashing.com? Yes. And that will take you to the Indiegogo campaign. Watch our video, which I secretly shot in this office. <laughs> Very rude. Very rude. And um, and check it out. And please donate and share it. Um, thank you guys for calling in and for chatting yeah. with us about Star Wars. And look, Wars. pound this the pound that like buttons. Pound the subscribe button. Uh, you know, send it to hey your friends. Hey guys, like to, like and subscribe. Yeah, like and subscribe. Turn on notifications. Just, I'm gonna. I'm pointing We're to something. YouTubers now. I'm pointing to something right now. Like and subscribe. I'm assuming there's gonna be some bubbles hey, t- there. This after box. The Check out this box. Um, we just want you to love us. That's all we want. <laughs> Please Anyhow, do. have a great, have a sell, uh, ha- happy and healthy New Year. Have a have a safe. Uh, Christmas, mm-hmm. you know, even though there's a war going on about Christmas, a war on there Christmas. was a war on Hanukkah once. Yeah, it's terrible. Um, anyhow, you know that's our show, and we'll be back in the new year. And of course, I wish you and your family the very best. Though I've just discovered that your family um, was responsible for making Snoke's robes, and uh, now they've they've got to find a new business to get into. That's really sad. <laughs> <laughs>